Welcome back into 13 News at 5. Now, if you live on the southwest side, listen up because a major section of 465 will be closing tomorrow night, impacting thousands of drivers. It's going to stretch from I-70 to I-65. It's pretty sizable, so heads up, you do have 24 hours now to figure out a new routine to get you where you need to go. Lauren Kostick walks us through everything you need to know so you can avoid a detour dilemma. Get ready to see a lot more of these orange barrels here on the southwest side because starting Friday, this eastbound lane of 465 will be completely shut down. And that means getting around here is going to be tricky. The closure is part of NDOT's I-69 finish line project. Crews already preparing for the massive overhaul. And here are the plans. Starting Friday night around 8, Workers start reducing lanes for drivers traveling southbound on 465, with only one lane left by 9 p.m. Then overnight, workers will add barriers, and by Saturday morning, all lanes of 465 eastbound between 70 and 65 will be shut down. It's going to be wild. Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I, we're going to have to see tomorrow morning. For Connor Bain, this is his usual route to and from work saying he's still not sure what new roads he'll take. Yeah, because I don't know exactly what's going to be open and where else they're doing construction. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. And for others, they're thankful to be wrapping up their road trip before the mess. We're not from here, so we don't have to deal with this all the time. <laughs> but for those who do, NDOT says the best detour to get back on 465 is I-70 east to I-65 south at the south split. And once eastbound lanes are complete, crews will jump to the other side and do it all over again in the westbound lanes. That work starts July 7th to the 29th. Crews will be working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, hundreds of crews on site. Saying these closures are necessary to keep everyone safe. And for drivers, it also means a quicker timeline. It's got to get done. 